It's episode 69. <laughs> Welcome to episode 8, I think, of another damn podcast. Got the boys here. We're not doing the intros again. Nobody has time for that. First topic is, would you rather stay overnight in the hood or overnight in the country? Overnight in the hood. He, hood. <laughs> Like this is yeah, crazy I, unanimous. I would honestly feel safer in the hood. <laughs> yeah, because like a, a lot of people just like mystify the hood yeah. as being like this uber dangerous place, which I mean, out so in the country it can't be business. just as dangerous as it is in the hood. So it's just like, I mean, I'd rather just be closer to something that's similar to like a suburban lifestyle, and usually. <laughs> That would be the hood. Un- Although it's very different. I'm not going to say the hood and the suburbs are the same. No. But they're at least a little bit closer in similarity to going out to the country where most people have no idea how to, you know, operate um, in a situation like that. So, I would, yeah, I would pick the hood. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm going to have to agree. And kind of what you just said down there is like, if you mind your business, yeah. for the most part, yeah. no you should you. be fine. Yeah. The the country, I don't, don't want to be in the country. Just... That open field at yeah. nighttime is terrifying. Well, I don't know what's out there. I mean, not to address the elephant in the room, but like out in the country, it's usually like racism. Oh, yeah, I know. That's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> they will probably just go here. up to you and just say shit. Like, just, I'm not even worried about the people, though. Yeah. Like, I, I still remember like, coming down from because we went to watch the eric andre show in like tennessee and shit me and hernan and we were coming back and i had smoked like four or five bonk hits before it's like taking a final exam and we were driving i was driving us home which was a terrible idea don't know why i did that but you allegedly drove him home allegedly (laughs) snickers incriminating himself viciously high (laughs) Um, so we're driving home and then I start getting sick like I gotta throw up and we're pulling out <coughs> and like we're about to get to like a sundown town very identifiable is Heck, that an issue for y'all? if sundown town's an issue for Hispanics? yeah cause uh-huh. like it, I mean if it's any other minority that's walking in there. Yeah, I, feel like I didn't know that. I feel it's like it's an issue I feel like just... except for people that aren't white. I mean, for people that are <laughs> If you're down there in the sundown town, nigga, I'm like, what you doing here, boy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't... Here's my I mean, thought process. It's, it's based on the threatening... <laughs> it's ba- I feel like it's worth like how threatening you are. I don't feel like Asian people are necessarily threatening to other people. So it would be more so just to like a. I'm kind it, of it's not, they, You wouldn't be their homie. It's not, it's not just a threat factor either. Like it's just you're a minority, so they yeah. have a preconceived notion that you're here just to fuck with them. Not necessarily that like you're going to attack them, but like, oh, you're taking our jobs, kind of deal, and <laughs> I you know, I, about the vid. I, I never even <laughs> thought about that. Sundown Town, I've always just been like, it's strictly just if you're black, get out of here. I've never even thought about the fact that other minorities might not want, not not want, but it would be best for them to get out of a sundown town like before for, it, yeah, it goes For down. me, I'm a little bit white passing depending on how I look. Right now, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, I don't think you've ever been white passing. Uh, you'd be surprised, bro. Have you seen, did you see the picture of his granddad? Yeah, I know, but I don't think Ralph has ever been white passing. He looks way more Middle Eastern. No, yeah. if, you, if you look I mean, at him from I, high school, yeah, if high school with the short hair. hair. Yeah, if I don't have my facial hair on, I look white. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, I have a oh, video of him when we were messing around in Caputo's. He, he kind of looks white passing. Yeah, hey, look at the Italian or Greek like, look. Pe- people I have guess. a hard time, yeah. like I see Middle Eastern the most. That, oh, yeah. that, that's Middle what I would Eastern say. The, He's ambiguous. You you really yeah. wouldn't know. Yeah. Middle Eastern is the is the. So most people, most people, generally speaking, would not profile me if I look different. Yeah. From what I look now, with long hair, beard, and all that shit. Mm. But, like for me, if I look like how I do right now, and I'm in a sundown town, I'm gonna get questioned. <laughs> She's got like, a bomb. <laughs> like it, and it's happened to me before, like in Arkansas, where it was like we're at a gas station, motherfuckers started questioning me and my brother. Like, I would never go to Arkansas. We, we had Ever. a pass through there because we we were traveling down to Texas. I'm not getting and out the you, car. you go to a random gas station because like hey Those like things. obviously like my parents are immigrant parents. They're not fully aware of like how racism works out here in the states. Um. 
So like for us, that was just like a new experience. I never had that experience well, before that. Guys. And so it was just like, okay, this is. Well, you're not around here from New York, from yeah. around here from. Damn! Yeah. Is that like a session of what they said? <laughs> I can't speak lately. But it was, it, it, would, it might've just been timing. Maybe it wasn't a sundown town. Don't know. But I th- I we th- were just getting questioned in the middle of the night about why we were there. Really? Are yeah. these citizens? Just regular Please. citizens? Yeah. Yeah, no. You know, white people. But there's person like when I when I used to make the trip back up to Baltimore, I knew for a fact I it doesn't matter how much gas I have left, I'm not stopping in Pennsylvania. I'm driving really? right through Pennsylvania. It doesn't matter what part of it, I don't care, I'm not stopping here. I'm continuing going. And damn near Virginia, I don't want to yeah, stop in Virginia. Philly is very diverse. That's just Philly though. Yeah. So once that, you go up, Pennsylvania is way I mean, bigger that, than so Philly. Once you that's leave... why the country was scary because yeah. I, I, I remember oh, yeah. that trip. I remember when 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 <laughs> we first came back from Baltimore that one year. Yeah. And that shit was sketch. I, I also know. didn't want to stop. I'm saying we're not we're, we're continuing this drive. It's like, also like kind of not as similar, but it's like kind of similar here in Illinois where like. The herb, like the area we are in, is the most diverse part. But you go down like an hour south. Yeah, it's like it's a different world. It's a different yeah. world. It's like these. I get. I stop at a gas station. And people are looking at me. I'm like, what's what's happening right now? Yeah, like, I mean, I'm the like... first colored person that you've seen <laughs> in like two weeks, probably. More than that. Yeah. <laughs> no, the I... first one. Yeah. The kids are like, oh my god. Yeah, That's... like you just yeah. drive. You drive down south an hour is fucking and like different. That, that that shit extends out to like even different countries, like. Like, I, my parents are from a rural part of Mexico. Like, my parents are from the country. Grew up in the country, partly. So, like, all they know is just, like, each other. Mm-hmm. So, like, when something breaks their preconceived notion of the world, because they, all they've been around is Mexicans. Yeah. That's all they know. Very rarely they'll see an American yeah. or any type of other person. Yeah. And so they... They have a lot of ignorant views on like the outside world and so like they they're just never exposed to that so they just have a very like strong reaction to outside shit. over there i mean when i go to india i mean that's just the country in, yeah. in general like yeah, that's everywhere that, yeah, that's like an international everywhere. thing yeah it's not based it's, some of it's racist ideology some of it's just purely based off their own ignorance because they've just never been out of their you know area yeah. they've never actually got to experience something outside of their small town yeah i'm gonna go to india i mean i look like everyone else but the thing is you go there if you're oh, in a, the city you're area American. or rural area yeah everyone knows that i'm not from they there. can yeah. smell it on you they like instantly this know yeah. Oh, yeah. i think they just see my build like me oh, from around here. Too. Like, i've never been to the philippines but like my parents will say like like they're gonna know you're american as, from the way you dress from the way you smell yeah. from the way you walk like they just know 100 yeah. percent. i mean when i go to those like and i also don't look filipino so like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's another good <laughs> one i go to india go into like one of those like bigger stores to go buy clothes and stuff they instantly know i'm getting finessed immediately oh yeah i remember when me and my brother went last time we had to buy some shirts it was the second day we got there to go to like a wedding or something and dude we got finessed so hard literally dropped over a couple hundred dollars on just four shirts <laughs> When realistically, each shirt should have been like four or five dollars. Now we would have had the box. We got, we got a box at that point. Like there's no there's no if ands or buts about it. Like square up, like run me my bread. We got a, we got a box. But yeah. Like, I, oh, oh, sorry. Oh. We talk to each other all the time. Nigga, go. Oh. Shit. I was just saying. I forgot who told me this, but it was somebody. But they were saying when they went to the Philippines, they their parents were like, "Hey, just don't talk." Like, <laughs> dude, like, that's the thing. That's just how don't it was, talk, and then like oh, let that, me talk. Hell no, like, that, was, that was not me when I was. No, growing, that's growing how it is in Mexico. India yeah. too. But for whatever reason, my dad gets to India. He don't know what my alimony. He just only knows English. <laughs> 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 we go to a restaurant. I'm like, "Hey, dad, can you tell the guy we order this?" And then my dad says it in English. I'm like, "Bro, that wasn't the <laughs> that wasn't the, the task." You're it's supposed not to translate it. for me. <laughs> yeah. the dog now, like my, my parents, when I when I was growing up in Mexico, they they gave me a lot of free roam. Like I got to meet like everybody in the town, like and develop relationships by myself. Like same thing with my brother. And I always remember this. He was the drunk of the town. His name was Mundin, but our nickname for <laughs> he him. He sounds like the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, and he had the deepest voice ever, man. Like he sounded like Earl, um, fucking Darth Vader, Earl Joel. Fuck, I'm trying to remember the voice actor's name. Uh, 
Darth Vader? Yeah. Earl, James Earl, Earl Jones. James, James Earl, Earl Jones. Jones. Yeah. Yeah. So like deep voice like that. Like motherfucker could have been a voice actor if he just never grew up in the country out in Mexico. Um but I remember he would always tell me stories about like my entire family. So I got to see my family from a different lens perspective than just like my immediate family. So he's like, yeah, your uncle, he's a little fucking cheap ass bastard, bro. He wouldn't buy me shit. <laughs> Taking he's advice like, from but your dad, clip. though, he the he's homie. my number one guy. Every he time he homie. sees me, he buys me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> and that's kind of when I started to like understand that some aspects of my family that were true were actually like much more different than what my parents were telling me because they were trying to be more tactful about you know my uncle being you know a cheap bastard because <laughs> in actuality he's like never wants to spend money on anything uh like he has he had money to pay for his kids schooling and all that stuff and like buying them cars but he refused to do that because he was like no nah, that's all my stuff where my dad's ideology was completely different from that how much does your significant other have to steal from you before you cut them off? So situationally, like if you they like go into your bank account and like send themselves a hundred dollars or something, like what what level does it have to get to before you're like, all right, like that's enough? I think it's, it depends on the context. I'm cutting you off right now. Like, may, like websites for like parents were like, you know, they were fucked up. They had some like real bad disease or fucking injury or whatever and like she she ain't feel comfortable telling you and then she stole the money to help pay for that but if that's your so and you're not <laughs> she, she should be comfortable but if that's, your SO, you, if that's your so and they don't feel comfortable telling you that stuff then, then you you're so yeah. yeah like bro like, you didn't think i would have gave you that bread yeah you stole like i don't believe that shit but let's let's well, say like, hypothetically well, this like, situation like, 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 let's build off on that story right like maybe her no. prior significant other was all like, fuck you. All you do is take my money for your parents and shit. And like, he just had a real bad experience falling out with that shit. Now what you say about nah, that? This is red flags all over the place. Yeah. I feel nah, like... because that wasn't on her. Like that no, trauma came pat, pat. If y'all and, are... and you didn't help. Hey, be mindful. And you let didn't help. <laughs> hey, be mindful. Let them talk, motherfucker. <laughs> and you didn't help. And you didn't help solve that trauma for her. No, nah, but if you're all going to share a bank account. Or whatever. Nah, it's not. Nah, sharing. no, this ain't sharing. She no, just no. went into your Yo, phone. Man. You left your phone open, and she went. But, yeah, but the, the, the real the situation. You're sleeping, and then she like did the face ID on your shit, and then she did the phone thing. <laughs> you, you know, if I see the media, a hundred dollars, whatever is gone that first time, I'm questioning it that time. But hold on, but the the real scenario is he, you expounded, which is fine. But the real scenario is just they just took it, and like. They had no intentions. Of, they just, they just were like, "Yo, I just wanted a hundred dollars." Not a word. Yeah, That's I'd just be like, I, I, I would have to put them on a, a performance improvement plan. Uh, a performance <laughs> improvement plan. <laughs> <laughs> this HR ass man, yeah, yeah, you can't ass wait. Ass <laughs> Yo, you were implementing HR fucking tactics into your relationship is crazy. That, that would have been the most insane <laughs> thing to do. Imagine going up to your fucking call her into your bedroom. <laughs> you're like, like, "Yo, hey, I gotta, hey." You have hey, what's the ROI I, on that? I, I need to, I need, <laughs> what's the ROI on that? I, 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 need need a bit, a bit. I need to set up a meeting with you, right? And then you're like, all right, let me hit you with this performance improvement plan. Because, you know, you take $100. You know, let's, let's work on it. Like, you got to communicate when you want to take $100. When you feel that need, like, you know, you got to When do you want to schedule that one-on-one with me? Then you got to slide the paper across the counter and be like, sign up for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that you understood everything in today's meeting. And you got a question about the ROI. What's the return of interest on that $100? Dude, I think the ROI would be like another six months on that relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. All right, so is there, is, there, is there a number that they can steal? Or is it just like, like, what if, they, they, what if it was $10? I think I, 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 I think it would depend. You breaking up with them over ten dollars? I feel like the I'm concept fine. of them going my phone, going on my Chase app, and then yeah, that, the money that's also kind of weird. That's weird as shit. It is. That's like, what I'm saying. Know, is gonna, it enough to break up with them though? I think it would I depend on the conversation. It's, it's going to warrant a conversation, hundred percent. Oh yeah. But are you, ten is like, is it breaking up though? Like, are you? It depends on the conversation. It's right, what if they say I just book. wanted it? I wanted to go get my nails done, so I sent myself some. Bro, money. why couldn't they just ask me for the ten bucks? You asked for ten bucks. I'll give oh, you the ten like bucks. Because the they knew you was gonna give it to them, so they said I just sent it to myself. Yeah, but I mean, if they were just gonna get their nails done, I'd just be like, I just reiterate my point. Just like, hey, let me know. Just let I me know. You. Yeah, I'll send so, you. So, so, so then you're not breaking up like with them. You're just like, yo, next time, just let me know. 
Yeah, yeah. Fucking second chance. No, I'm just asking. We'll talk about it. Okay, so so, but that's my like the nails are like five thousand dollars. No, but but that's what that's my question though. Like, what level does it have to get to that first time for it to be a a immediate cutoff? It has to be multiple conversations, and it depends on the context. Like, if it was like ten grand and I'm broke as fuck, like obviously that's a conversation. Maybe but I'm you having a conversation if they take ten bands? What I say? But, is I mean, it depends no, on ten my bands. That's like break up. If I'm broke, <laughs> yeah, like, ten that bands was, over. That yeah, was yeah. my entire life <laughs> savings kind of... right there. Like I'm lawyering up. I'm not having. I no could be Jeff Bezos, nigga. If you take ten bands from me without saying something, it's a wrap. No, if I'm Jeff Bezos, I don't give a fuck because ten bands don't mean nothing. Nah, ten, nah, ten, bands, a ten, a ten bands a lot of bands. Ten bands a lot of A billion dollars, yeah, ten thousand ain't nothing. Bezos, that's nothing. That's, that's nothing. That's like ten dollars to him. I don't care, nigga. That's but, a lot of money. Like, if, if I'm Jeffrey B, I'm cool with that. I'm not Bro. super wealthy like that. Yeah, it's gonna be, matter to me. But I'm gonna get some lawyers involved. Ten I'm, bands I'm, is I'm, a felony. A red flag is a red flag. Ten bands is a fucking felony. I'm gonna make it up at two hundred. Huh? Two hundred, two fifty. That's what I'm. Like if it's on. I feel like that's a solid. That's a solid number. Some little shit like oh they're getting their nails done, they're getting their hair done. Yeah. Or they're doing X, Y, and Z thing. They decided to splurge at Ulta. Or fucking what's that other makeup place? Sephora. Sephora. <laughs> no, but if you're gonna go and literally when I'm sleeping or whatever, use my face ID and do all that sneaky ass shit. What else are you doing at that point? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, if you're so, gonna go all so that just, for ten dollars, all in. Just you off of this, are you breaking up with him? Mariah's going all in. Are you there. staying? Or are yeah, you just I having feel, a conversation I, I and moving like, on? Like, what dollar yeah. amount are you breaking up at? That's that's all yeah, I'm asking. I feel, what? Like, I feel like Mirage has a dollar. Amount. What dollar amount, amount is it like? Yeah, hell no. I, I, I feel like I feel like Mirage got a price on. Him. Say your price to the camera. <laughs> I said two hundred, two fifty. That's my price. That's your price. What's your yeah. price? What's the cap? Don't give me the extras. Just like what dollar amount are you like? I'm not even talking to you. It's just like a wrap and I'm going up. One time transfer. One time. Uh, I said two hundred. Two hundred. The dollar amount. What's what's too much? It would depend on my financial situation. Right now, your no, financial situation. Right now, regardless of your financial like th- uh, uh, my my financial yeah. situation right now, I'll put it at probably like two hundred. Two hundred. That's okay. I think, I think that that's the perfect number. I, and I, I would, but, like, but if I, I would have to agree, more, that, that that number would grow. No, but I, I don't think it matters. If I was making ten times yeah, more. Yeah, what I'm making now, it's still two hundred. It's still. I just want to care for someone. Somebody right. That's what he did. Oh, everybody did. Take advantage of me, huh? Yeah, I've been taking advantage so many. Time. Matter of fact, when you start making the the, the real money, seven hundred k, I'm gonna take like what can I take? Two bands? I can steal two bands. I said ten bands. Hey it's man, fine. we didn't. T- okay, we're not I can take ten friends. bands. Hey, hey, I can take ten can bands, take, bro. bro you nah, take- we gonna be dating. Yeah, I'm gonna take still. the ten All bands. Right. Quit your job. Support your other family. <laughs> Man, y'all, yeah, you support really our family, dang. bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all over here stingy with the money. No, it's not being stingy. I think it's like nah, a tr- you're stingy. It's like you're like, a- damn, bro. Like they think two hundred dollars for right, me. I'm right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hold on ten dollars right now. Yeah, let me let get, get some bread. Let me get ten dollars <laughs> right now. Let me, get, let me get ten bucks. <laughs> you're not dating me. Let me get ten bucks. You're not dating me. So no, we dating now. We go together. We go together. Give me the money. We're going to Golden Corral after this. Yeah. Get the steak and lobster. I'm gonna get that steak and lobster. You best believe. All right, this one, this one is a um a story or whatever. But so essentially, this lady went to the casino. She hit for forty three million dollars, and then they didn't give it to her and said that basically it was a malfunction on the machine, nah. and they they only offered her a steak dinner in in nah. return for that. Nah. What would you do if this happened? If I'm the, blowing up the if, casino. If the machine prints out myself. that if it prints out that voucher for forty three million, I'm getting that I'm voucher getting for forty three million. I don't million. think it, I don't think it printed it out. She what? couldn't get it. She it was on the screen. She she the, I already read the court case on this, so I'm sorry. No, you could. I, I, it's old. It's an old story. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. why it is matter. So at the end of the day, so the the casino has stipulations on the machine, so even though it's the screen might say a certain payout, there's an internal machine that gives out a different payout amount. <laughs> and so they're like, well, the other machine that actually gives the genuine payout mach- or payout was actually malfunctioning, so it was a glitch. So that that's why they didn't get the forty three million was because it was a software issue. Two things. One, fuck that. I'm raising hell in here. Oh, fuck yeah. your machine. Two, even then, 
to offer me a steak what dinner. What kind of steak? Is this like I, I don't care. Like Mother, this could be wagyu five, beef. Five Michelin stars. I could bite the fucking wagyu beef cow myself. I don't care. Offering me a steak dinner when I was supposed to get forty three million is crazy. You couldn't yeah. give me ten bands and credits for like the casino. Like I can't mm-hmm. cash it out immediately, but just yo, this is a credit towards the casino. As long as you play it in here, we good. You couldn't give me none of that. That's like, why I don't gamble, bro. That like, or like some diamond fucking, status. Something, yeah, yeah. an upgrade on the hotel. Yeah, something. something. Like, a y'all, steak y'all, dinner. Y'all worried about your girlfriend taking like two hundred dollars, but y'all ready to put a thousand dollars on the blackjack table and lose that shit? No, no we're not that. doing that. I got a fifty dollar cap in the casino. Y'all, y'all he, he he pulling shit out his ass. Nobody said that. He went two hundred dollars. The last time you go home and tell your girl, "Damn, I lost two hundred dollars to the machine." Nah, I'm not doing that. Who's doing that? Nobody does. I, I didn't get the $200 back from the machine. Bro, no. Last time I took a seal, I put $1 in that on a penny slot. <laughs> now I'm hitting right that now. fucking button. Uh, nah, I'm getting got right now. All day. Yeah. All day long. Y'all, 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 y'all got guys. Y'all got guys. Y'all got worried guys. about the I'm wrong I'm going to play the tape back. I'm going to play the tape back and see who said that shit. No Who said, said that? Nobody said that. Oh, you're gambling. Nobody bro. said I'm, it. I'm, I'm ready to. He lose pulled some shit out of the air. He was like, "Give me that." Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Now nah, he was going it. through the files. He was like, "What a bullshit! That bullshit! 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 bullshit. I got it! Bullshit! I got it! I got it. Nah. He's he's motherfucking motherfucking ready. Ready. in his head, you know. They love the casino episode. more than they girl. <laughs> I mean. Look, I'm hey. single. I'm single. You gotta get yourself in trouble. Yeah, you gotta get yourself in I'm trouble. I'm not playing bro. this clip. She watching this. She, she, I'm gonna tell her to watch this. she doesn't watch this. I'm gonna tell her to watch this. She does oh, not watch I'm these videos. Like, hey, you better watch this. Man. Although she did watch some of the, she watches the clips though. <laughs> and she did, she was like, yo, y'all are wilding for like the, the Viagra one or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Which, which I will say, I'm mad that that clip didn't get that many views. It didn't matter where I posted it; that clip would not get views. But that's like the thing, and with, I thought that was that, hilarious. That, that's always the thing with like anything oh, that you so do, funny. though. Like I remember, uh, I don't know if you have ever fucking heard of the band Papa Roach. I'm pretty sure Angela has <laughs> Papa Roach. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to remember that song. It was like in the early 2000s, some really angsty ass fucking rock. I probably rock heard song. it. Y'all probably heard of it at least yeah. once. Um. And these motherfuckers hated that song. That that was their least favorite song, but it was their most popular song. It's the same thing with the uh, Afro Man because I got high. Oh, he, yeah. he hated that song, but that shit goes crazy because I, I got, got because I got high. I, I was supposed to clean my room, but then I got high. Ooh, that's right. real Y'all shit. supposed to bring in, bro. Yeah, sometimes. What do you say? Know. I was supposed to pay my child support, All but right, then I back got to the high. Casino. Back to the casino. No, no we're going back to the casino. casino. We never had a casino story. No. Oh, but the yeah, the casino. thing. <laughs> but yeah, they're petty for not even giving this woman any type of. Like anything, bro. Like a steak dinner. I don't care what kind of yeah. steak it is. That's not good enough. Yeah, that's not easy. My pain. The entirety pain. of Wagyu, Wagyu Japan. Like they give me a freezer, a Kobe freezer Japan, full no, of. I gotta go to Kobe Japan. They give it to give me no. every cow in there. No, I said steak dinner. You can't even bring another person with you. It's, it's just, just you. Meal for one. Meal for lo- one. They get your your fucking consolation prize is a lonely steak dinner <laughs> in Vegas. You know how sad that is. Buy your own drink. <laughs> It was probably eating by yourself. I'll eat hey, hey, they don't there, cover the tax either. The tax is not included. You have to pay the tax like when you win like a prize on a game. That's why you don't something. play slots. No. Don't play slots. Play, play any other game. Either I'm getting my money or I am... I'm going to learn, jail tonight. Learn how to count cards. I'm going learn to jail tonight. Learn how to count tonight. cards. Nah, because then they're going to beat me up in the alley if I count cards. Nah, that's why you bring your own group. You got to get your own posse, bro. They're going to beat all of us. <laughs> nah, they're going to beat you off. You and me. You get John Jones, bro, you good. <laughs> get John. Nigga said, like, you just grab him off the street. Hey, John? John, can you come here? Yeah. The weather on uh, what? Was it on Thursday? It wasn't that bad. The 101 like, degrees yeah. wasn't that bad. Low key, I thought I the day before was worse. It's probably the humidity. humidity. Yeah, the humidity of the day before was worse. On Thursday, like I was outside all morning. Yeah, I was drenched in sweat, but it kind of felt nice. Yeah, I feel like it was hot, but it wasn't as bad as what yeah. they were saying it was. Gonna yeah. Be. Yeah, I was. I was worried. Like I worked out outside and I was drenched in sweat, but it was. It felt fire. I feel Yo, why like did really you? Good. We're, I'm gonna put your tweet on this screen. So tell us what your tweet said. When I, you weighed, I made the weird decision to work out outside today, and I was the wettest person alive. What does that mean? I was wet. wet. Like, you don't get Man's wet when wet. you sweat? Yeah, you're not getting wet when you sweat. Is water wet? I'm not getting wet when I sweat. 
And I'm not the wettest person alive. Why would well, you phrase that like that? Well, I was the wettest person. I was the wettest person alive. <laughs> you know what the thumbnail is gonna be? It's gonna be you with the trophy that says "wettest person alive" okay. <laughs> award and Okay. What? what? Why do you have a problem with this? Are you not wet when you're sweaty? No, I'm not. <laughs> but you never like worked out where you just drenched your whole shirt just completely drenched. He, he's saying he's I am, I, but I'm not the wettest person alive. <laughs> but I yet that day. Why I would you was? say it like that? Like, because he, I was. I was he, so sweaty. I was drenched. Talking about how hard he went in his workout. Yeah. You could have just said I'm drenched in sweat. You didn't have to say I'm the wettest nah, person it's alive. It's funnier saying the wettest person alive. It's just funnier. It's it's better to say that than oh I'm drenched in sweat. Like yeah. no, it's that's not. Boring. That's boring. Or as I'm fuck. sweating profusely. That's, you could have said that. That's boring. Yo, I'm dripping right now. That's boring. My fault. That's crazy. My fault. That's boring. <laughs> Saying it nah, that is crazy. <laughs> I'm dripping. I think you were this person alive. I think is better in terms. For saying, oh, I'm drenched. That's so boring, bro. You're so Everybody says nah, that. Nah, I would have been like, dude, I've worked out so hard outside. I'm dripping. <laughs> I'm tripping right now. I'm drippy. I'm outside right now. I'm drippy red. Nah. Drip God. Drip God. All right, that wasn't a fucking no, hot take, though. He just, get, he just got problems with you. With you, with with you I motherfucker. Shit, I got really problems tweet. with you. Yeah, you know, he uh, just don't like those. Like, if it sounds a little sexual to him, he doesn't like it. He, you make everything he, sexual. What do you mean? Zesty? That wasn't that wasn't sexual. Was, it was. Say, she was, was zesty. You right? That shit was zesty. I bro. was just the wettest person alive. It That's have, zesty. It didn't have to be sexual. Um, my hot, get your mind out my hot take would be, you know, when like you go to a store and they like try to add some extra bullshit, like oh, like here's like the peace of mind at the fucking rentals thing or like extended warranties for shit. I wish that like it was more acceptable in society to like be like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? And like giving them hella shit so they never offer that shit ever again. I'd agree. Hey, I agree. I hate when they nine to <laughs> HK Foundation yeah. to help oh. with autism. Yeah, how like I'm not state. donating for you to get the tax credit too. Bitch. On the donation that I'm giving, <laughs> you take my donation, donate it, and get yeah, a tax credit. And then like they they're like, oh, like you don't want to donate today. Nah, motherfucker, like, Dude, what? And fucking Taco Bell, they'd be like, would you like to support a child's no, education today? No. Like, nah. No, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my, Bell, I'm get trying to get my chalupa. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not helping you fucking avoid these taxes, bro. No. You know who's mad aggressive with it? Panda Express. Oh, really? Panda Express damn near holds the gun to your head. Like, yo, <laughs> you don't want to donate to the starving are children you sure? in Africa? And they always hit yeah. you with the, are you sure? They got my ass. They, Ooh, they got my I just ass. Wanna... <laughs> Not gonna lie. Nah, don't lie to it. If the chick is bad, you ass. donating. Nah. If the if the cashier is bad, you donating. No. I, oh. I get I get God. You know, you know what? You know what I will. Because I'm like, I'm more likely to do. I'm more likely to round my total up. Yeah. If it's then just flat out donate oh, yeah, though, because no, no. I like even numbers. So just in my brain, oh, yeah. I'm like, you can make my fourteen ninety three fifteen dollars flat. All right, I, I'll do it. I mean, nah, I'm, it's like, I, it's I'm like saving those seven like cents. Oh, but if they round it up, are they still asking for a tip on top of that? That's mine. <laughs> I hate <laughs> tipping. Stop asking me to tip every single time. I'm not tipping it's Buffalo like Wild Wings for pickup. I'm Dude, not I'm not tipping like when I shit. I go to get these like the caramel apples. I'm not tipping you when I go get my caramel apple and leave out. You didn't do nothing. No, wild shit in the drive thru. I fucking tip in the drive thru. What are you doing? Tropical what smoothie. Doing? When I go when I go get my food in the morning before work from Tropical Smoothie, they turn it to me and they're like, Yeah, just do the little prompts or whatever. And I hate that they say it like that. Yo, just uh just go through the little prompts really quick. Next time you should be like I'm hitting zero, just so you know. <laughs> I'm hitting Look no. dead in their soul. Yo. I'm hitting no. Dude, I remember last time at Starbucks in the drive through and the guy's like, I was going to ask you a little question. And the way he put his, the, the thing out, and the fucking sun was out glaring at that shit. I'm like, dude, where the fuck's the zero at on this shit? <laughs> hey, yo, took, hey, took it up so I can see the zeros. Hey, yeah. what I got to do to zero? I appreciate the workers who know I'm not doing it, and they tell me, yo, just hit the green twice. I'm yeah, like, yo, oh, appreciate oh, yeah. you. Appreciate your respect. Because if I want to tip, I'm not tip. Even if I'm tipping, which... Most of the times I don't for carry out. I'm gonna do it in cash. But it, it's it's always like a moral thing too, because like you you already know that they're not making regular minimum wage because the the motherfuckers are like, well, they're getting tips, so they get tipped wages. Well, no, they no, no, do. We're talking they, about like they, Starbucks they, employees and stuff. Yeah, yeah they get their regular saying, their wage. It's only servers and but stuff like, who won't yeah. get the regular wage. But like that never crosses your mind that like since they're adding these tip features to a lot of these things, that employers are being like. You know what? Fuck it. Since we have the tip thing on it, let's just pay them the tip minimum wage instead of the regular. Yeah, but minimum I was reading wage. to the thing like even at Starbucks and, and so stuff. now it becomes more of a moral thing 
No, but even Rather Starbucks than... or even Sake, a lot of those employees do not see those tips. That's and that's paid, why I'm not, they're getting, not asking about. They're that. getting paid their regular wage. They're not getting any of the other stuff people are tipping. So they're just getting the, the regular com- minimum wage. Right? No, they're getting their regular wages, and then the company. But what's regular wage? Are they getting? I think they're minimum wage, or are they getting? No, regular I think minimum Starbucks minimum wage? wage is like like fifteen or eighteen dollars now. This isn't the federal. Yes. This isn't federal minimum and wage. This is their Starbucks company. pays for your school. I mean, everybody do. <laughs> yeah, but but <laughs> like I mean, you said, I don't say for like a job, like you know, even like McDonald's is paying for everyone's school and shit like that. I don't see how those workers are seeing those tips though, because it's like. Who am I tipping? That's why when right. I tip, I only tip in cash because are are you like when I worked at um at Panera and I delivered, they would pay my tips out in cash at the end of my shift. At Starbucks, you're not paying this workers that, tips out in cash. That, that's only like big organizations. I'm talking about like mom and pop stuff, even small businesses. They don't ask you to tip though. They never there, there's mom and pop places. There's a lot of them that do. Maybe I don't hit up enough on, but I, I'm just speaking towards the big corporations. I don't know how they're getting these tips. Who, who, like, how do you determine whose tip went to who? Are you splitting these tips at the end of the night? Do they, do these go straight to their check? Like, yeah. like, how are you splitting My this? My assumption is it, it depends on probably who's, like, running the register. And so, like, it just goes based off the name. And well, that's why I'm tipping they, the register person. I'd rather tip the person the, the making cook. my thing. Yeah, but that's the thing. Is like, since it's, like, what? under the register, like, it's only giving it to that one person's name. Maybe that's the issue. I'm, I would, I would, I'd be interested but to ask somebody mind. who works in that industry and like nowadays, because even when I did work in that, I didn't, I didn't experience that stuff and tipping like that wasn't a thing when we were still working those kind of jobs. So I'd be curious to see how it goes. I mean, technically, I, at CC's I could get tips, but it wasn't like I got paid at a tip wage. Mm. But it was like you know people throw you three, four dollars. That's why. That's why I just skip it, and so I don't have to worry about who this tip is actually going to. If I'm going to tip in that situation, because like sometimes if I go somewhere frequently and I see the same person and they're always nice to me, I'll mm-hmm. tip. But I'll tip in cash and I'll hand it right to that person. Like I've tipped yeah. in the Portillo's line before. I have tipped yeah. at that Rocky Mountain place that I'm talking about. Well, it's because it was like a hundred degrees outside, and oh, I was yeah, in the Portillo's line, the and they were standing outside, and I was like, bro, I feel horrible even mm-hmm. ordering this right now, and you're standing in this heat. Just taking orders all day. Like, I felt oh, so bad. Dude, I, I, this is all talk. I just have a story. Okay. Yeah, That's but, you guys can keep going. No, we can transition. It's oh, cool. Oh. And then get back to some of the hot takes. Oh. Up. Dude, so last night, <clears throat> after climbing, we went, like, Paul went to Canes, and I was, he was driving, so I had to, you know, be in the car. The Canes down on 59. By the mall? Yeah, dude, that shit was fucking packed last night oh yeah dude. it's the one dude, the only things open late every high like because the lady at the the drive through she was like yeah dude ever, for some reason every high school in the area just decided to come here tonight yeah. and she it, it was like a zoo inside there dude it was like we looked inside and i was like i'm not going in there like motherfuckers was like they were like sardines in there like actually <laughs> and i was like this is crazy i was like this is the most people i've seen inside of canes in my entire what time life was it? It was like ten o'clock. 10 yeah, that's their club. Yeah, they don't have yeah, anything else what, to do. It's one of the yeah. only places open like until like I think on Friday and Saturday it's open until like. Because I'm imagining morning. a lot of them go to like round one and then like yeah. I think they kick them out like. Well, I think there was. I think that football. Yeah, because they're not because there were people. Oh, yeah, that school, I, school's in session. Because I, I think because there were people wearing like their cheerleader outfits and shit. I was yeah, like, yeah. 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 But yeah, like, after it's like we used to go to McDonald's in high school after like basketball games or something. But like, she was like the lady, the driver. She was like, yeah, but this wasn't even the busiest. And I was like, yeah, damn, it, it yeah, was no, worse remember, than this. I, I remember leaving or when I picked up my parents from the airport like two, three weeks ago, uh, we went to that Canes and yeah, motherfucker was packed. Because yeah, yeah, that's one of the few things that's still open yeah. that late. Like that, that is my go to if I'm coming back from the airport. That's my go to is like, yo, let me hit up Canes or I think in the summer, uh, Patillo's will stay up until midnight or something. Is yeah, that, but Kane's menu. Yeah, but Kane says Kane says they stay up until midnight and they mean it. I have yeah. pulled into that drive-through line, not that specific one. I pulled into the one by my house mm-hmm. at eleven fifty-eight. They still serve my food fresh. Yeah. Still, they yeah. they say midnight. They're staying open until midnight and they mean it, which I appreciate though. But yeah, I'm not surprised that they, that people were packed in there because yeah, the spot crazy. used to be like, yo, let's go linger around Walmart or something. Yeah. If it got late at the night, Walmart stopped doing 24 hours and stuff like this. So it's like, where else are kids that Walmart. age gonna go? Yeah, and then, like is. you said, round one kick. Round one is 21 plus after a certain time. Yeah, so does. you can't hang around there anymore. The mall is closed. You don't have any other options in there. That's the area. true. 
that but literally was, is it. It was just crazy seeing how many people were inside. That. Like I've never seen like that many people inside. Yeah, because right. like, like going to downtown Naperville before you're 21, like all you could really do is just like fuck around, just on walk the, around on the river walk, the river walk, yeah, and just it. like talk shit to like the drunk people that are walking out of the bars. <laughs> I feel yeah. like even late night in that river walk, it's packed. Mm-hmm. It is packed, but it, it it's mainly an older crowd. D- I don't like DT Nabes. Yeah, yeah. it's changed. It's changed. It's not the same. It's changed. From not the same since those people It's been the same thing. I just don't really like it. Nah, last decade. It's, it's been, it's, it's a, I don't know. I don't like it. Weird vibes. You've watched it change, bro? I've always yeah. felt weird vibes every time I've been to a bar there. My brother be going I, I, down I, I, there. He'd be I, I, like, bro, you want a bar hop? I don't bar like bars. Scene. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just a hate big bar scene. Never been a fan of them. I, I I don't get it. I don't want to spend all this money on drinks. I don't want to do that. I can't fuck with the bar. I can't fuck with the club. There's only I, I totally agree, bro. Yeah. I, I, only, I just feel like I'm wasting my time there. Wasting the only, my time and wasting my money. The only bars I like are like the ones where I can do shit at. Like in the city? Yeah, like, like Emporium. Emporium? Yeah. yeah, like they got pool tables. Me and my friends are just running. Yeah, the pool they table. got pool tables True. or yeah. like an arcade. Or like darts or something. Or something. Like I'm fine with bro, it. I was at right. Emporium last week. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I was just playing air hockey nonstop. Oh. Dude, yeah. me when we go to Emporium, we're running the pool table. Yeah. We grab one and we just run it. I can't play, play air hockey drinks. too much because it'll get my everything. heart beating fast as fuck. Nice. It's such a fast paced game that like I'm like, <sighs> ah, shit. Yeah, but <laughs> after, after like midnight, when you're tired and you're just like you're fucking you're unable to focus at all. You're just fucking just hitting that shit off the fucking corners and trying to. Angle That's what it I'm in. saying. But it's like it it shocks my nervous system almost. Like fucking constantly just smacking the puck and it popping back. It just. It's something about the air hockey that I'm just like I gotta sit down. Really? I gotta I gotta chill out, bro. This is too much for my body. It got to take you like that? Out. Yes, bro. That's why I'd be like, especially if I'm I'm drunk. If I have like alcohol in my system, I can't do it. I can't. Dude, I, pool is so fun. Yeah, pool is more controlled. Like I'm taking my shot. I'm lining yeah. it up. I'm walking around the table. Like okay, this is yeah, my people shot. Yeah, leave you alone too. Yeah, right. it's chill. Yeah. You sip on your drink in I between. Love that. Oh, yeah, when the other person great. is going, you kind of just like. Just kind of like hold the stick right here. You're like, all right. Oh, I cool. talk shit to my friends when they're when they're. Nah, going. but I feel like now it'd be packed in there. So then you got a crowd. Dude, yeah, just watch is packed. They oh, just, you know also be watching you. Dominoes. Yeah, I love. I love. It Pokemon. can get intense though. <laughs> <Yeah>. Dominoes <laughs> can get intense. And Portium does get packed though. Oh, that, dude, everyone sleeps on Domino's. Have you ever what about bowling? At the, the place bowling's also outside. bowling's a nice little little like joint. A little like truck place. If they do have bowling, I, I would say bowling's probably top tier. Yeah. All right, so my hot take is. Was mine a hot take? No, it wasn't. But it's I fine. It doesn't have to be. Saying, yeah, because I want to say last summer was hotter. Yeah. Way hotter days. Everyone was like, I was like, oh my god, it's so bad. No, because like, I remember really last hot. year working remotely in my room, I was sweating some of those days. You got no fan, my nigga. Huh? You got no fan? Away. No, I do, but it was still so fucking hot. That's why you gotta get the, the AC, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, but I think also we had switch AC. Get that insignia one, bro. It's like two hundred bucks. I got rich one. ass motherfucker. Nah, but this fucking AC. I got mine for open box. This, I got mine for 120. This AC you didn't know just runs nonstop in this. I didn't box. even have to buy mine. My brother left it inside his room. I just, I just <laughs> Yo, that's mine's now. Yeah, it's yeah, mine now. After I move out, my that the the portable AC I got in my room, that, that thing's going back to Mexico. No, but honestly, this Dyson fan I'm saying, that shit was works cold as fuck. really Dude, well. Without the, yeah, without the Dude, the air purifier on that shit is crazy. But one time I forgot to take my allergy meds before coming here. And I didn't sneeze. No, it's good because it, it tells you everything that it takes in. So let's see. I've been wanting to get one after say, seeing that. Let's shit. say take a hit out of a pen, yeah. like a car, and blow it into that thing, and it'll go straight red. And it'll tell you all this shit it just took in. Really? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Right, we gotta do that. We gotta do we that. Leave. I, I, gotta, I, well, I think that. I gotta get Austin's phone. You don't get to try that because you don't have a vape. <laughs> you better not vape, motherfucker. No, he said a cart. I got a cart, but not on me. Yeah. 